Okay, so today we're going to be looking at upgrading the RAM on two of uh, the Huawei servers we have here. Uh, this RAM that I'm holding is 16 gig of RAM. Uh, each stick is 16 gig, as you can see from here. So I've ordered eight in total, so 64 for each server. Um, the boxes for the other rest of the RAM is just here. So what I'm going to be doing is increasing each server by 64 gigabyte of RAM. So each one currently has 64 gig of RAM, and I want to increase each one by 64 gig totaling 128 so let's take a look at seeing how we can increase that so we've got our server here and what we want to do now is I've taken off the back cover and I'm now trying to what I need to do is uh, just quickly show you the version it's a 1288H Huawei server as you can see it's got two CPUs um, I think my camera is a little bit blurry but there you go two cpus we've got rams that can be installed on both sides of the cpus and what i'm going to be doing is removing uh, some of these covers and installing the additional ram into some of these slots here so the plan is to increase the ram which will then allow me to have more resources on both of my servers which will be used for uh, the virtual infrastructure now, the storage devices i'm using are also huawei as you can see here these are the storage that i use for the vms and they're connected to the servers through iSCSI and yep so what I need to do just quickly show you how to take off the uh, the covers for the RAM sticks is just remove it uh, remove the little clip so just push down the little clip and that automatically opens up uh, the covers I can take the cover out and then what I need to do is the same on whichever other one that I'm going to remove and from there on I can then easily uh, just take out this other one here just unclip that and as you can see so there's the fourth one just here so each one I just need to install four and once I've got my the four spaces that I need to install them in here we are just uh, slid them all in it's just easily clipping them in just as you do with your PC for example so similarly to how you'd upgrade on a PC you do the same thing just take out the cover and slot in the RAM and as you can see from here yep I've slotted that in that's all in there as expected and you can see both CPUs one and two so now hopefully once we close up the cover and start up the uh, the server we should be able to see that the RAM has increased just put the lid back on once we put the lid back on there uh, we can then close up the back end cover here we go that's closed off and now what I need to do is slide my server back in once I've slided it back in, I can then turn it on, uh, just check and make sure that everything is as expected. So I just clip the little screw which holds down the lid, and that's securely fastened. There we go. Make sure that's securely fastened. Slide the server back in uh, into the rack, and there we go. So that's yeah, there are the two servers. That one's the one that's currently switched off. I've just upgraded the RAM in that. Make sure that's all secured in. There we are. Yep, just clip those in. There's two little clips on the end. Make sure that's all securely fastened so it doesn't come out. That's the first server that I upgraded. Um, that's currently now all the VMs have been migrated to the second server, as you can see on the bottom. Everything's running live off of that. Once I've turned the second one off, I'm going to turn the top one back on, and then I'm going to migrate all the virtual machines to that. Then that will allow me to switch off the bottom one and then upgrade the RAM on the bottom one as well. So the idea is to make sure that's all upgraded. Uh, and then again my storage servers are connected and they're hosting my VM so I can easily move between servers just a little bit of the infrastructure here that's the NTE from BT that's our internet connection that comes into the site um, just beneath that is obviously the storage device uh, the fiber comes into the site and then that connects to one of our firewalls which then connects to our core switches this here is a smart zone 100 that's our Wi-Fi controller and that basically controls our access points it's ruckus uh, all the access points on the campus are ruckus and then we, they connect to uh, the switches which are huawei as well so the most of our kit besides the nte and uh, the uh, some of some a few old switches everything is actually pretty much huawei so the core switches which you can see that i'm pointing at the moment they're on huawei too and they're connected through fiber so they are actually connecting to the edge switches through 10 gig fiber um, so each edge switch connects back to the two cores through 10 gig fiber then the cores connect to sorry the edges connect to our 
endpoint devices, whether they be servers or access points or so forth. And then that connects, as you can see, through the fiber patch panels here. Each building connects uh, all the comms rooms in each building, connects through the fiber uh, back to each building. So each building's edge switches connect back to the core through these fiber patch panels using multi mode uh, cabling, multi mode fiber optic cabling. So yeah, this is the uh, the core switches as you can see, uh, Huawei switches. We used to have HP, we've removed all the HP switches and we've now gone with uh, Huawei. They're fairly reliable, they seem to be holding up very well since we've upgraded everything. And just coming over to the server now, what you can see here is the uh, server now turned on. As you can see, the RAM has increased. It has 127.2 gig, which means We've successfully upgraded the RAM from 64 to 128. As I said, I've installed four uh, 16 gigabit uh, RAM sticks, and that's added an additional 64 gig of RAM. I'm just turning on the server now. Once it turns on, as you can see, I've got ESXi 6.7 installed on there. I will then migrate all the virtual machines from the second server off of this one onto. Sorry, all the all the all the VMs will be migrated from the second server that's on onto this one and then I'll turn off the second one and which is also a 12888H I'll switch that off and I will then migrate uh, all the VMs onto this one which will then run all the VMs hosting everything on the infrastructure and running them live on this and then turn the other one off and upgrade the RAM just to show you the back of the storage uh, the units here so as you can see this is the storage device this one here that's the storage that I was just showing you earlier on and these are the two uh, Huawei servers which are uh, running the virtual machines or running our virtual data center um, the top one is the one we've just upgraded and then the second that's the one that we're just turning on the second one is the one we're going to switch off and migrate everything onto the top one and then switch it off and then we're going to upgrade this, all the, the RAM on the second one which is the one in the bottom